Good day. My name's Suzanne and I like making things. I've worked in the arts field for over 13 years as a graphic designer, web developer, writer, photographer, freelancer and more for a wide variety of clients in different industries. I'm studying a communication design degree through Swinburne to enhance my conceptual thinking and update my skills for future employment, freelancing, micro business creation and personal projects. The Design Studio Concepts and Narratives Unit challenged and delighted me as I designed individual solutions each week for eight weeks. Following the introduction is a visual summary of my development and outcomes throughout the unit. Sketching within short time frames in week one was exciting because it showed me what I'm capable of within minutes instead of hours. Using different mediums to explore artistic styles and techniques expanded my repertoire of drawing skills. Tracing and rendering show me a new way to create illustrations. Using a coffee table light box was less than ideal, especially after several hours. Tracing the collage made me think about the impact of positive and negative shading. Rendering the collage in Photoshop produced a polished outcome. Moving from 2D to 3D required a different sort of patience. Making the model chair took some practice as I refined my technique, particularly on cutting angles. It wasn't my strongest project, but it did turn out okay. Week 4's photographic compositions were very satisfying to make. I learned that I favour asymmetrical layouts a lot, and even though the number of objects was fixed, there were lots of compositions that could be made from them. Changing the proportions and scale made my photos far more dramatic. I think the skills I've practised in this project will come in handy in the future. My favourite part of this unit was the week 5 cropping and framing. After playing with some book photos, I found it more exciting to get outside and capture bird poo and fence faces. The small frames were challenging to work with, but by the end of this project I was cropping and framing so that more meaning could be visually communicated. Mark making was an unusual project. I found my inspiration straight away, but tried out a few other solutions. In exploring colour later on, I was able to incorporate blended colour into my final mark. I would have liked to have had more time to finish this project. Weeks 7 and 8 were hard work. In sketching 50 anti-design concepts, I came up with a number of viable potential outcomes. After analysing general flaws versus fundamental flaws, the chosen anti-design was the one-piece six-pack. The paper mache model took a long time to make, but rendering it in Photoshop polished it enough to represent my anti-design accurately. 